All right, this trial that we have right now is one of the most annoying trial because there's two Jiang Juli and also Mavis as the boss. So you need to kill off Mavis first, but then the Jiang Juli will just one-shot one of your DPS. I'm going to show you the pay to win team first. Uh, if you have a Raven, Raven will be way better than Narmer. But since I don't have a Raven, I'm going to have to use my Narmer. First off, before you go into the battle, you need to reroll until you get uh, these runes right here. The first note, it doesn't matter what you take. Um, the defense is not important because Jiang Juli ignores defense. The second one, Inferno Attune, Ally Attack plus 25%, this is a must. And then the last one, Fighter Speed plus 25% is also a must. Now the build, you want Sachiko to be on the Harmony set and also Shield to provide one extra buff for Narmer. And she's also going to be giving Narmer the crit rate buff so you can consistently clear the waves within one turn. Daji also helps you with the clear, uh, wave clearing. You want her on the Thunder set and Avatara so she gains a little bit more speed. Narmer, you want him to be moving first. With the rune that increases speed, he will be moving first. And I have him on War Avatara because he doesn't need to crit on the waves for him to one-shot if you have him on War. And then I have Hilda. Hilda serves two purposes, which is to land the defense break on the boss and also helps you kill the boss faster. And also helping you to apply the sleeps on the Everett's. For Mitsuki, you can put any set on her, but I have her on Harmony and Light so that she can AP boost my team a little bit and the fastest I got with this team was 38 turns. Wave 1 to wave 19 is going to be full auto uh, except for wave 15. Wave 15 you can sometimes not one shot the steward if you don't crit but my armor with this build has I think around 80% crit so 80% of 20% uh, of the time the run will take one additional turn on that fi uh, wave 15 but all of the other waves you will just one shot regardless of you critting or not the true damage that daji provides also helps you um, i don't think you need to have narmer at a very high divinate for you to one shot the waves but you do need to have his divinate 3 to get that start of turn attack buff 100 of the time that's very important okay right here wave 15 if i don't crit the steward i think i don't one shot let me see okay i, I crit the steward so i one shot him and then at this point, it's just one turn on every wave. So what you want to do on the boss stage is you cast the S1 on Mavis. You don't want to be casting his S3 because you don't want to kill off uh, JJ that fast. And then you do an AoE defense break. It doesn't matter if JJ goes into the demon one right now. The most important thing is for JJ to not target your Daji. That's the most important thing. If, you're, if the JJ happens to target Daji, your run is dead. Okay? So right here, you don't want to use uh, her skills just yet. And then here, hopefully you can land the sleeps on Everett and just hope for the best. Okay, went for Sachiko, that's good. And went for Fumitsuki, so this is going to be a very good run. And we also landed the sleeps. So right here, you don't, again, you don't want to use Narmus S3. Because if you use his S3 right now, the Everett will go into the Graveless state. And that's going to eat up two extra turns on your turn counter. So right here, you give the attack buff to Daji. And then you hope for a crit. If you don't crit, it's fine because the poison stacks will kill them off. But if you do crit, then you'll just kill them off. So again, JJ went for my armor, that's fine. My armor nukes everyone. Hopefully he nukes the other JJ as well, but we didn't. Um, and then, there we go, 37 turns. Perfect. That could have been a perfect run if my armor ends up one-shotting that JJ as well. But unfortunately, we, we could not one-shot him. For the pay to win team, if you don't have a raven, you're gonna struggle quite a lot. But if you do have a raven, it's very easy for you to kill off the JJ's because she strips the JJ's buff first before she does her nuke, right? Now let me show you the free to play comp real quick. Alright, I finally got it done with a fully free to play team. This is the to the very last turn. Look at this, 140 turns. It's a, a very RNG based team. First off, reroll until you get the fighter speed plus 25, inferno attune ally attack plus 25, and then uh, this one is random, you can go for anything. Uh, but I went with the inferno win attune one. So here's the team. I'm using Sachiko on the harmony set, um, same set as the pay to win team. Li Ao right now because I want to kill off the Jiang Juli so that he doesn't uh, one shot my units. Um, his S3 will counter the Mavis, which I'll show you in a bit. Chloe to one shot the Jiang Juli because she can steal the buff of JJ and then just one shot the JJ. Adrena to provide the stuns for the entire team. And then for Mitsuki also on the same set. 
So the width 1 to 19, you can just fully auto it. Um, you can have some variation here and there. Uh, if your Adrena doesn't crit or if your Chloe doesn't crit, then you sometimes take like a few extra turns. Alright, we did pretty well, 66 turns to clear all the waves. Now the goal here is to stun all of the enemies. Uh, that's why you have Adrena with the Tyranny set. But you want to start off with the S3 so that you can land defense break on one of the JJ. So we did land the defense break on JJ and we also stun the Mavis. So if you end up landing the stun on Mavis, you can leave her alone for a bit and don't use Liao's third skill. So right here, we're gonna tunnel through uh, JJ's first life. Um, just keep on spawning him and then hopefully you stun him, there we go. And then also keep on uh, using your S1 so that Adrena can follow up. And then right here, we're gonna AoE to put him at low HP. There we go. Now we want to stun off the other JJ. Hopefully we can do that. Okay, we stun the Mavis again. But this JJ is getting really close to going into the demon mode. So if I don't have my nuke on Chloe, then I'm kind of screwed. Okay, right here, I'm going to remove the Mavis from the game so that I can kill off this JJ right here. Stun this JJ right here. Make sure you keep them stunned forever. I can if you push. And then at this point, you one shot this JJ. Remove him from the game. Never mind. We didn't remove him from the game. Okay, it's still fine. If I can still get lucky and he doesn't go for my Chloe, I'm still fine. But if he goes for my Chloe, okay, nice. We can still kill, kill him off. Um, but since Mavis is on the battlefield right now, I need to wait uh, to cast my S3 on this guy. Boom. And then now, I can re-kill that JJ. There we go, the JJ is dead. Then we can go ahead and kill this guy right here and we leave Mavis for last. Mavis is extremely tanky. Again, this is a lot of RNG with this team because sometimes if the DJ, if the JJ decides to go for your Chloe, you're screwed. you're screwed. You need to restart the run and then yeah, just go again. It's a really annoying trial, but um, it is doable free to play. Yeah, this team is pretty much free to play. You can get Chloe from the gold record. She's a four star. Adrena is also a four star and I think she's in the uh, go record at this point and she was free at one point as well Liao is a 3 star and then we have um, Sachiko which is a free Esper from either the point war if you played early or in the or in the beatbox rewards 160 turns it does require a bit of RNG but it is what it is and yeah that's about it this trial is one of the most annoying one that we have so far because of the double JJ and Mavis and if you don't have a Raven, you can't really compete. As you can see, the Raven comp just clears it within 31 turns because Raven can just kill off JJ's and Mavis at the same time while Narmer cannot do that, right? He, he doesn't strip buff, so I need to take a different route, which is why I can only go down to 37 turns with the pay-to-win team. But yeah, that's about it. Yeah, ciao.